Hey there, YouTube. YouTube, I have a little something related to technology, but, uh, you know, off the beaten path of what I've, you know, covered before. And that is the Panda Twin Tub uh, washing machine. And it's basically a portable um, washing machine that, that is basically a more automated way to hand wash clothes. I, I can't really think of a better way to describe it just because this isn't like a fully automatic, uh, you know, top or side load washing machine that you're probably familiar with. Um, instead, it's, uh, it's a machine that does have some mechanical components. You know, it, it'll agitate the clothes. Um, you know, it'll, it'll spin them. And uh, it actually gets the clothes pretty clean, but it's not a fully automatic process. You can't just, you know, toss the clothes in and then, um, you know, set the controls away for it to be done. There's a little bit more work involved, but the plus side to this, this type of machine is that it's portable. It's, uh, it weighs a lot less than a typical washing machine. It's pretty easy to carry around. It's less than 30 pounds. And, um, you know, it's basically a machine that's great for, uh, you know, like an apartment or an RV or, I don't know, a cabin or somewhere where you wouldn't necessarily have your typical washer and dryer hookups. And, um, uh, I'll, I'll just I'll show you real quick. The controls are, you know, very basic. You have a center dial that uh, allows you to set it on the washer spin cycles. Over here we have a timer for the washing and uh, also a timer for the rinsing basically. Uh, and then on the right side you have a timer for the spin uh, cycle. And you have two main tubs and <laughs> apparently I had a bag in there, I don't know why I was moving stuff around and cleaning uh, but <laughs> anyway, I have two main tubs let me get this out of here, close and this is the washing side as you can see there's some lint in there and um, so as you can tell, I, this is the machine that I actually use this bottom part here will spin and agitate the clothes. That little blue thing right there is a lint filter. But I have to say, it is abysmal. The lint filter <laughs> barely catches anything. And uh, there's even been you know other reviews on YouTube of people saying that this blue thing, like it doesn't even stay connected anymore. It just kind of falls off and spins around in the wash. I haven't had that happen yet, but it also it doesn't really work that well. And then on this side, got a you know safety door here. I got this another little safety feature to, to keep the clothes down, but this is the spinner side. And you basically uh you put the clothes on this side, you know, add just a little bit of soap, uh, you know, barely any if you use anywhere near what you would use in a typical washing machine, you're gonna have to rinse the clothes like 20 times or something just to get all the soap out so I just put like a, like almost just a few drops really is, is enough to get the clothes clean and I found that you can fit about um, two pairs of jeans uh, you know a couple pairs of boxers and maybe like one maybe two shirts just depending on how thick they are and you know put the soap in there set the timer it's going to agitate the clothes, it's going to get them clean and you're going to have to drain the tub and fortunately there's this uh, hose here that comes attached to the machine and it stays attached it just hooks up right there and you can drain it into you know a tub or um, a sink you know, whatever whatever you have available to you, a bucket even um, don't mind this, this is just <laughs> Uh, this is kind of like my ghetto um, lint catcher, basically. 
because when you wash these clothes and you rinse them, there's going to be a lot of lint. And you really don't want that to go off and uh, go down your drains because it'll clog them up very easily. At least they, it will here. So basically what I did is I just took a sock, tied it to that, and it lets the water get out but uh, traps a lot of the lint. So it's not going down the drain. And, uh, you know, once, um, once the tub is, is, um, is drained, you fill it with clean water, run it through again for about half the time to get all the soap out, drain it again. Then you take out the clothes and you put them, uh, just a few at a time. Try to fill this up to maybe, uh, three-fourths of the way. Then use this, try to squash them down. And you want the clothes to be kind of balanced. So, you know, um, you know, just kind of put them in there as evenly as you can, just so that it, when it's spinning, the machine isn't shaking around like a, like a bucking bronco. <laughs> and, uh, this side, while you can also use it to rinse, you can take a hose and connect it to this and let it spin for about a minute and then turn the water on uh, to go in here and then let it run for, I don't know, I'd say at least, I don't know, at least three minutes just to make sure to get uh, as much soap as you can out. Um, I don't really use that method. Some people do. Uh, if you do use this method, you'd only have to wash the clothes and then put them in here and then rinse them. Yeah, it's, it's up to you though. Um, the left side, I showed it in the video, I didn't talk about it. Uh, the machine does come with this white hose which isn't attached to the machine, but it's pretty easy to attach. You just push it on and uh, you're able to connect that to your sink or uh, I connected it to the shower head up there and they provide this little metal clamp thing to kind of help keep the hose on there. Uh, and it's, wor it's worked pretty well. Um, might be easier to, um, you know, get a longer hose or something just because it's kind of limited. Um, but so far, so good. You know, it hasn't really got punctured or, or cracked or anything like that. Um, despite, you know, it's, it's very, like, thin plastic, but it's, it's held up pretty well. Uh, I've had this machine for um, a little over a month. And, um, you know, I think overall it works pretty well. Like I mentioned, though, the the only, you know, the, the, the two downsides to a machine like this, one is a general con, and then the other one is more specific to this specific, uh, you know, the, the Panda Twin Tub um, washing machine, the PAN30, I believe is the model number. This is the model that does not have a water pump, so basically that's why I have this on the on a container so that the, well so the machine doesn't get wet, but also so that uh, it drains by gravity. So you take the hose off and it's draining below the machine, so all the water is going to go out. There is another machine that's very similar to this model, but it comes with a pump. So you're able to put the machine, say, in your kitchen or something, um, you know, like next to your sink. You hook this hose up to your sink, and you would hook, um, they have a hose, I forget where it is on that model, but there's another hose that basically comes from a similar spot as this drain hose, but it's powered by a water pump. So it pumps the water up, and uh, it comes with a little attachment to, to hook it over the edge of your sink. Um, so anyway, as I was saying, uh, the, the general con for a machine like this is that there is some manual work involved. You have to take the clothes out, uh, put them in the, you know, in the spin dryer. You have to, uh, you know, drain the tub manually, uh, between wash and rinse cycles. And then the more specific con to this particular machine is the lint. Because, as I mentioned before, this lint filter here is terrible. It barely catches any lint at all. And, as you can see, lint ends up there. It ends up going out the drain. It ends up on the clothes. 
and if you don't have an electric dryer uh, you're basically left with a lot of lint on your clothes because when you're air drying the clothes even after putting it through the spinner which gets it most of the way dry uh, you're still left with a lot of lint because you you know the electric dryer it pulls a lot of that lint off but if, you, if you're air drying it that lint's still going to be there so you're going to either have to lint roll like crazy or just kind of deal with it and it's just it kind of sucks so um, I found this little laundry bag here and it was actually from a, another user suggested this on YouTube and they suggested that you could probably get this at a, you know maybe like a dollar store uh, you know it's not very common but if you have like a specialty kind of like mom and pop type place uh, you might be able to find it uh, they also suggested eBay well I looked on eBay and this it just kind of seemed kind of super sketchy I guess uh, I don't know I've always been I'm always kind of skeptical of eBay listings just but kind of just this in particular because it was coming from China couldn't read the text because it was not in English and it just kind of seemed super shady so <laughs> I uh, tried to look at uh, you know other sites and uh, tried to find like a U.S. based source, and I wasn't really able. Like the best that I was able to find was to go to Amazon.com and go through Amazon to um, to you know one of the one of the sellers on the Amazon Marketplace and get and get one of these. And I figured, well, you know. Worst thing, I'm out, you know, less than five bucks, and, you know, I have Amazon to, to kind of help me resolve any issues or whatever. So, I did that, and it came in the mail, and it was all fine, and basically what this is, is a mesh laundry bag, and it floats in the water. This is kind of, this top part makes it float, and it just sits in the water, and it goes through the same cycle that your clothes do, and it catches a lot more lint than this uh, this built-in filter. And um, especially with like wool socks, like it looks like there's a whole freaking sock in here when it, when it's done washing. But uh, <laughs> this works really well, and there's a spot on the side, sorry, where this part opens up and you're able to get the lint out pretty easily and this combined with the panda uh, definitely makes the machine a lot uh, more pleasant to use I guess just because you're dealing with a lot less lint on your clothes and this is kind of hard to find even just searching on Amazon so um, if you are if you are interested in finding one of these and you know if you have one of these machines uh, try going to Amazon and the company that sells this, it's a company called Services For You. And I believe I found it on Amazon by searching for uh, mesh, mesh bag lint catcher. And, but you might have better luck just searching for the company name, Services For You, on, on Amazon. And it, I forget how much it was. It was, I think it was around like three bucks. And, uh, you know, it was a good deal for the money. One thing I have found is that this, um, there's this green ring here. And it holds this mesh part on. And I believe originally this was glued together. Just to kind of hold the, because there, there's two ring pieces. The mesh part goes over the first ring. And then you put this ring on top of it. Well, the glue failed after a couple, like the first few washes. Uh, fortunately, you can kind of press the two rings together. If it does come apart, it is pretty easy to put the mesh back on there and then just press the two rings together. And then this part right here kind of goes over so it helps hold it down, but it's not perfect. You know, it was only three bucks, so what more can you really ask for? But yeah, so... I just kind of wanted to give you guys a heads up on how I found this and um, you know because if you're going to get a machine like this this is definitely something you want to look into getting just because it, it really helps in getting the lint off your clothes 
I mean, there's there's still some lint, and an electric dryer would really help. Um, I just don't really have the space for it here, and I would also have to get a ventless one, and the reviews on those just aren't that great. Like, I don't know. <laughs> like, Panda actually has an ele a small electric dryer, but it, I've heard it can take like 80 minutes to dry one pair of jeans, which is kind of crazy to me. So, you know, I think at the end of the day, it's basically this is the best compromise to use this. Air dry most of the clothes and then things that get, get like really linty that I can't stand the lint on, just go downstairs and, and pony up for the coin operated dryer. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, this, uh, a machine like this can definitely save you a lot of money. And, um, it's definitely something to look into if you're an apartment dweller, if, you know, coin operated laundry is, is super expensive or you, you don't drive or whatever, you know, there's a bunch of situations where this can either save you money or just be simply be more convenient. So, you know, check it out. It's the, this model is the Panda PAN30. And as I mentioned, they also have another model with a water pump so that uh, you can have, you know, more placement options for this. You don't have to drain it by gravity or anything like that. And, um, if you guys are interested in seeing more, um, you know, details, do you have any questions about this kind of machine, uh, feel free to post them and I'll try to try to respond to you guys. I also do have a video of the machine in action, which I'll try to, uh, you know, post within the next uh, day or two. But yeah, thanks for watching and uh, have a good night.